Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with Casey. How's it going, dude? Pretty good. Thanks for having me. Dude, it's awesome being here, but please tell people where we are. We are in my garage, which houses a lot of my video games, some storage, and uh, my video game kiosk collection. That's right. So Casey is a really big collector here in the Seattle area. So he's going to walk us through, um, you know, 16 of his kiosks, but we're really going to focus on a couple of highlights, some of your favorites, right? Yeah, we'll focus on a few and then we'll kind of take a look at the others. This is going to be pretty awesome. Let's take a look. How'd you get into this type of collecting? Well, I always wanted one when I was a kid, but I couldn't fit it anywhere because I was living with my parents. Right. Then I finally got my own home, and I was like, the oh, first thing I'm getting is a kiosk. <laughs> what was your first one? The first one was uh, the Pokemon Snap kiosk. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And that, that's one we're gonna highlight here in a little bit. And so, I'm kinda curious, can you name all 16 kiosks to you own? Okay. That's a tough one. <laughs> so let's start off with a Pokemon Snap kiosk. Yeah. I also have an N64 kiosk. I have uh, two PlayStation 2 kiosks. I have a PlayStation 3 kiosk. I have two Virtual Boys, one stand-up and one um, over-the-counter. Hmm. I have a Nintendo DS kiosk, uh, two GameCube kiosks. I have two Xbox 360 kiosks, one original Xbox kiosk, one Wii kiosk, one Wii U kiosk. Oh, one PSP kiosk. I was just gonna say, I was gonna try catching you on that one. Because <laughs> I saw it and I was like, you have a PSP kiosk. Yeah. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> it's a little bit smaller, but it's still good. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, well that's cool. So, just so people who, who are kind of getting into collecting these kiosks, I mean, what are some of the challenges and things like that? Obviously, other than space, right? Yeah, space is a major factor, but also transportation, because mm. I don't own a truck, I don't own a van. So each one of these were either delivered, mm. or I had to ask a personal favor to one of my family members or friends to help me um, bring it over here. I'm not surprised to hear that, because some of them, like, I'm looking over here at the N64 one, that thing is huge. It, it's big, <laughs> and that one, luckily, the guy brought it to me. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about as far as, like, functionality? Do, I mean, I assume they come in all flavors, broken, fixed, whatever? Or the Most of them were functioning. Okay. And the only issues that I may have is just changing the lights in some of the um, marquee. You know, that's a good point because kiosks, I would imagine, are assumed to be beaten on, right? Because it's like, it's designed for to sit in the store with kids with greasy hands come up, beat the crap out of them and walk away. Yeah, there there are some nasty controllers that I've encountered. <laughs> um, luckily, I have spare parts, so I would just swap them out. Yeah. Now, as far as like the consoles that are inside them, is it are they typically standard consoles or are they special modified? They're special kiosk demo consoles. Okay. Um, they may have extra fans so that they last longer because oh, they're, sure. they're staying on the whole day. Yeah, right. Huh, interesting. All right, dude, well, enough farting around. Show me some highlights. Let's take a look. So this is one of my favorite kiosks. This is the Pokemon Snap kiosk. Uh, you can find these or you found them in the Blockbuster stores uh, where you rent video games. And Nintendo had a good marketing plan. They sent these units to all the Blockbuster locations and you could bring your game pack so your Pokemon Snap cartridge or your Pokemon Stadium cartridge and you just stick it in here and the game would just reset and start and you could print off all of your pictures of Pokemon from Pokemon Snap. And to do that, you had to purchase one of these cards. So there's a variety of them, all Pokemon, and they cost $3 per sheet, so there's 16 stickers. And that was the whole thing. You pay three bucks, you could print out your personal pictures from the game. Wow, that's cool. And the cool thing about this is it opens up, and you can see that it's very intricate. We have the actual unit that prints out your stickers, the N64 itself, all jam-packed in here. Wow, that's really neat. And so where did you find this? Uh, I found this on Craigslist. Uh, my buddy uh, 
Jeremy, he actually owned this and he's part of the Seattle Retro Gamers group. And he brought this over. This is one of my favorites. This is the Virtual Boy stand-up kiosk. This hologram is so cool. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, this is actually one of the two that I have. The other one is an over-the-counter unit, um, but the stand-up version is so much better because you can stand up and you can put the headset or the headset up, or if you're shorter, you can just slide it down like this for all those kids that want to play Virtual Boy. And who doesn't want to play Virtual Boy? I mean, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, in all honesty though, I love the Virtual Boy. I mean, it's fun to collect for. Yeah, I could play it only 30 minutes at a time until my eyes start burning, but <laughs> it's a fantastic system. But you know, it's funny though, because usually when I play it, I have to sit, lie down on the couch with that thing, you know, leaning on my face. But here I could actually write, I could walk up to it exactly. and play it. Wow, that's cool. And, and how difficult is it to find one of those? This is probably one of the hardest kiosks to find in my opinion. Um, I've only seen it pop up maybe three or four times in the Washington area and it's more frequent in the Washington area because the Nintendo headquarters is here. Right. Um, I would imagine it's even more difficult elsewhere. All right, what do we got here? This is the GameCube kiosk, one of the two that I have. And my plan, original plan was to put them side by side and then hook them together using the broadband adapter. That way you can have two games of Mario Kart Double Dash playing and you can go head to head. Um, so I just need to set that up. But I first had to acquire two, which I do now. That's cool. It's a nice looking kiosk, isn't it? It is. And there's so many different models for the GameCube. I would say there's at least six different ones that I've seen. Of the kiosk? Yes, of the kiosk body. Wow, interesting. This is the PlayStation 2 tank, as I call it, because this thing is heavy duty. I mean, it is nice and sleek. It's one of my favorite kiosks, and it's kind of hard to get games in and out of it. So what I decided to do was install HD Loader, and you can use something called Free McBoot, and what it allows you to do is put all the games you own and put it on your hard drive, and you could just simply select the games from this menu, and it's a lot easier you can just press X and it'll pop up the game. So that's why it's one of my favorite kiosks because you can just instantly start playing. Yeah, that's really smart. And where did you get that? I got this through a Craigslist transaction. Um, I actually got this and the GameCube together for $200. Really? Yeah, so it was 100 bucks each, essentially. I like how it has the eye toy at the top here. Like, what, what in the kiosk, what was that doing, do you think? Maybe they had some demo? Yeah, I'm sure they had uh, a few of the eye toy games because they were trying to market that heavily during the time. True. They are just trying to sell it. So having this and people playing it in front of the system, it'll gather sort of a crowd at times. Hmm, that's cool. And of course, behind it, you have... The N64 kiosk. Uh, this was a pain to get in here. It is tall, it is big, it is heavy. But this was uh, picked up by the original owner from a Fred Meyers uh, store, and they just kept it in their house for the longest time until uh, his wife said, you gotta get rid of it. Luckily for me, my wife is okay with it, and I was able to get it. <laughs> That's awesome, it's beautiful. Yeah, this is one I had to get delivered here because I did not have a vehicle for this. We are upstairs mm -hmm. in the Wii Wall area. Wii, Wii Wall. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the Wii U kiosk. This is the latest addition to the kiosk collection. Now, I seem to remember you saying no more kiosks. That's what my wife said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we agreed that we shouldn't have any more until we have more space, but it was our anniversary and she surprised me. Uh, she went behind my back and got this for our anniversary. That's awesome, it's beautiful. Yeah, and she was really lucky. Uh, we found it, I found it on Craigslist after I brought it up to her. Okay. She's like, no, 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 and she surprised me by getting it. <laughs> it's a good woman right there. <laughs> yeah, she's a keeper. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Well, hey, thank you very much for showing me all your video game kiosks and, and your awesome game room. It's very cool. Yeah, you're welcome, anytime. So if you guys have any questions about collecting game kiosks, uh, specifically for Casey, uh, let, let us know down in the comments below because he's gonna be watching the, the comments here and we'll answer your questions. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll definitely help anyone out that, that wants to get one of these in their house. Yeah, I know. I want one in my house and I don't have room for it either. <laughs> Rebecca could probably kill me. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for watching my channel. Thanks for subscribing and take care.
So I'm kind of curious, do you collect video game kiosks as well? I, you know, I'd be tempted, especially if I ran across say like a Dreamcast. A Dreamcast one would be pretty sweet. And it's not something you see all the time. So I'd love to know what you guys thought about this video down in the comments, something kind of different, something kind of cool. Casey is such a, a cool guy to hang out with and I really appreciate his time. All right guys, thanks for watching.